I am the resurrection and the life. He who believe in me will live. Will live. Even though he dies, whoever live in and believe in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, I believe. I believe. This, 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 this word, Jesus Christ said to Marda, hmm? whose brother died, uh, according to the Gospel John 11 chapter. Yes, I believe. We never die. Because you, you believe in Jesus Christ. I do believe Jesus Christ. And we have spiritual life. We know spiritual world. You know. Uh, spiritual rhythm, uh, spiritual world that you never know before, before, before you believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus uh, has a power over life and death. As well as the power to forgive our sins. This is because he is the creator of life. Life. I'm talking to you. Life. Huh? He just said, I am the way, truth. And the life, no one come to the Lord except by me. Gospel John 14, 6. His life. You got the life, Jesus' life, which is a spiritual life. We never die. Huh? <laughs> is it sound so, so sweet sound to me. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, my, my, my Lord, my brother and sister, I'm, I, I love this chapter, preaching the gospel. We need, yes, absolutely, we keep on this gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, preaching the, the other people, the life. I am the life. Hmm? Oh my life. Uh, this uh, when we realize his power and uh, how wonderful he offered to us really is it's, it's a tremendously it's good to us. How can we help? But, but, commit our lives to him and to other people. <clears throat> and we got the chance to preach the gospel. Who want to hear this good news. What a wonderful assurance. Oh, my, my God. And uh, certainty of salvation. Hmm? We got salvation. Jesus Christ. You got the everlasting life. Everlasting life with the Jesus Christ, assurance we have, because he said, Gospel of 14, chapter 9, I live, 
you also will live. Yes, he said. I live, you will live. <laughs> you guarantee everlasting life. So I'm going to preach the story of Nazareth. I mean, not Nazareth. <laughs> Nazareth, who died. But had raised from the dead by the power of Jesus Christ. The account of Jesus raising Nazareth from the dead disturbs us. Uh, not, not, not disturb. It's not good word. Uh, I'm going to change the word. Stirs. Stirs your mind, my mind. Yeah, I feel. Uh, whenever I read this chapter, uh, the Gospel of 11, the chapter of uh, the, the story of Nazaro, who dead, uh, I, I feel the power of Jesus Christ, and uh, I, I, uh, you know, I I feel to stand in the awe of uh, the power of God. Yes, I feel. Maybe this passage <clears throat> is so powerful to us because we can visualize it so clearly in our mind whenever we read. We can see ourselves walking through the uh, crowded street of the Bedani. We just, uh, I want to tell you, the, uh, just uh, look at the, uh, just imagine of uh, the scene of that time, Jesus Christ and his disciple is coming from the other area to, to see another who dead. Hmm? So uh, we hear from uh, up the Dusty pass of the outskirts of town, Jesus Christ and the, the people were coming. And we hear the sound that would. Marda, Marda was learning to the Jesus Christ, hmm? crying out, and uh, we we imagine that her face, that the the, the, the uh, the, the what? Tear, 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 tear was falling down a face and cry out, Oh Lord, listen, listen, my friend, 
if you had been my brother would have not died. Hmm? We can feel her pain and hopelessness as uh, she cries out her frustration to the Lord. She say, if you had been here, hmm, I, I hope you to be here, but you didn't come. It's like, it uh, sounds uh, like a uh, complaining voice. Hmm? Uh, if you had uh, been here, my brother, you love. Yeah, actually, Jesus Christ loved her family. Marta, Maria, Nazaro. Because they, she often stayed and drove in his house. You know that. All right. <clears throat> so not only the Marta, she it cry out to the Lord. All other Jewish people who uh, came from the, around the vicinity um, because they came to mourn and comfort her family. They, they said, if only he had been here sooner, which is two days more. Two days more. Because Jesus Christ had been stayed two days. Other place, people, he came here on purposely. Hmm? If only he had gotten here sooner, if he had only gotten sooner, today is more earlier, if only Nadaro could have hung on a few more days, Christ could have healed him. That is what Jewish people said. Hmm? Who around there? They say, I'm sure Christ could have healed him. If let me tell you. Oh my! Oh, just listen. That's what I'm trying to and emphasize the the point of my today's sermon is uh, what they said, like uh, Marta said. If only, if only, if only, Jesus wasn't late four days. No, no, no. Jesus wasn't late four days. You got to understand. Oh, my, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Huh? If. Jesus had been with Nazaro during the final moment of Nazaro's sickness. 
he might have healed him rather than let him die. Am I right? But, Nazareth died anyway. So that Jesus' power over death could be shown to his disciples and Jewish people who are around the world. The raging of Nazaro was an essential of display of his power. Think about that. And uh, the resurrection. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my. We will be resurrected. Yes. You and me will be resurrected. When? Someday. <laughs> Not <laughs> One day. The Bible said, for the first Thessalonica, four chapter sixteen to eighteen. Yes. Oh, I love this this, this the passage. Listen, listen, listen. It, it, Lord, Lord, Lord will descend with a shout, shout with a. Voice of Archangel and with uh, the trumpet of the Lord God, whom we believe. Then what happened? Dead, the dead will raise up firstly from the tomb like uh, Lazaro. Yes. Now, let me tell you. If you died before Jesus Christ comes, you can hear the voice. What Jesus said. You to be in grave. Like Nazaro, who had heard the voice of the Jesus Christ. I, I, I tell you later what Jesus Christ said. Okay, let's go back to uh, the scripture, uh, the first testament for chapter 16 18. Dead man will be raised up. Then we, if we still remain, if we still live at that time, We will be caught up. We, you, me, will be caught up. Oh, this rapture. Rapture. Theological terms is rapture. We are waiting now. Hallelujah. We will be caught up in crowd. And we'll be meeting Jesus Christ. That we shall be live forever, forever, Hallelujah. everlasting life. Hallelujah. Oh, pray the Oh, I need somebody who do give give glory and shout with me. Hallelujah. Oh, I need that. So, so, oh, oh, come on, come on, somebody help me. Come on, somebody help me. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, I feel. I feel Holy Spirit, hallelujah. I feel I like preaching today. Thank you, Lord. Huh? What I said. Huh? Nazaro, Nazaro died so that Jesus' power over the death could be shown to the old people. Huh? And the resurrection from the dead is a Crucial belief of Christian faith. 
we have to keep. Hmm? I say again. Crucial belief of Christian faith. We need this faith. Hallelujah. Jesus not only raised himself from the dead yesterday, but he had the power to raise all people, including you and me. <laughs> That I, I've said in the Bible. You will be caught up. I'll be caught up. If, not if, when Jesus comes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Pray the Lord. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> when we are faced trials and the struggles, You know, you, you have a lot of experience. Satan sometimes uh, tempts us to you. Where is your God? Where, where is your God? Hmm? Things can look at the going to bed. Getting worse. Situation I getting worse. So we we are disappointed. We may fall down. Uh, no the hopeless situation goes on. We are tired. If we focused on the circumstance we faced in, in our life, this option belong, uh, begins to look very appealing. Hmm? But listen, listen, my brothers. In the same circumstance, you can hear another sweet voice. I say the sweet voice. Sweet voice from Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Assuring voice whispers to the Christian's heart. Oh, thank you, Lord. What Holy Spirit is speaking to you? I am with you. I am with you. I will make the way you want. Oh, oh hallelujah. The God, our God, who judges our heart, hmm, will meet your desire. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You believe with a sweet promise. Yes, you gotta believe that. God is a covenant with you. He will keep you. You will see. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Divine and divine promise. Bureaucrous deliverance. Oh, from the situation. You could not. Come out by yourself. God is going to deliver to you, you from the crisis you got. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible said, all things work together to do for good for those who believe according to his will and his purpose. Romans 8, chapter 28. And another passage. I love this passage. God will not let you tempted. No. He will provide the way to escape from that way. Hmm? God will not make you to temptation beyond the one you can bear with. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the my friend, I have a question. Do you ever feel that God is four days late when a loved one dies from an illness or when your plans and dreams don't work? Your plan is destroyed. Do we trust that God can heal a friend but fail to, to trust in his wisdom when that dear one dies? Do we trust that he can guide our lives? Yes, I trust. But when failed, you see, still are you trusting God as your savior? OK, let's go back. To the graveside sin, you can surprise. You can feel the expectation as some the, 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 the voice of, from the Jesus. Jesus said, take away the stone from the mouth of the cave. Take out the stone. He, Jesus said, come out, Nazaro. Oh, my, my, my. What happened? Nazaro came out from the cave. He was there for days. Marda said, what is she said? Huh? She said, Lord, by this time, there is a bad odor, bad smell. For he had been dead four days. Gospel 11, chapter 39, today's text. Hmm? What Jesus Christ said when Martha said this word. This, listen, oh, I love this word of Jesus Christ. This sickness will not 
end in death. No, it is for God's glory. Hallelujah. So that God's Son may be glorified. Gospel John 11, chapter 4. When you die, do you fully expect that your next conscious experience will be hearing the voice of Jesus call you by name? I'm talking about the rapture. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Any trial you have, any situation, I don't care what you've been through, when you are going this through, whatever you've been doing, whatever you are going to through, the difficult times, Satan going to block your way, doesn't matter. Any trial of the believer faces can ultimately bring glory to God because God can bring the good thing out of any bad situation you faced in. Hallelujah. When troubles come, do you grumble and complain and blame to God? I don't think so. you do. We always thankful to the Lord. And we have to see. We must see our problems we have as an opportunity to honor to the Lord, to glory to God. Then God will hear your voice of prayer. And God will Bless you, like Lazaro, made from the dead. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah? We we'll hear the voice. Hmm? Whether we died and alive, we will the voice of Jesus Christ when he comes. Pick up to you. Oh, Maranatha, my Lord. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Pray that we will never die. You will never die. Remember, we will never die. I'm, talk, I, I'm talking to spiritually. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bye bye. See you later. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord, giving glory. My God.